Are you having B12 side effects? Maybe you're having heart palpitations, anxiety, headaches, things like this can be associated with B12 in some circumstances. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to go into what you can do when you're having B12 side effects, how to get over that hump and still be able to take the B12s. So if you're new to this channel, like I said, my name is Dr. Taranella, and I'm making this video to help you connect the dots of your health to go beyond just the basics, whether it's a confusing blood test, symptom, diagnosis. I make these videos because I enjoy helping people get a better understanding of what's going on with their health. So if you like this kind of information on health, nutrition, and just generally getting a better understanding of what's going on with your body, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's connect the dots on B12 side effects. <laughs> So B12 side effects are not very common, but they can occur. And sometimes it's hard to know ahead of time which people are gonna have those side effects. So in this video, I wanna go into some of the problems and solutions that you can use to get over this hump if it's happening to you. Now, first things first, we wanna assume that you have a really good reason to be taking B12. Either you're deficient in some way, suboptimal levels, maybe your doctor told you you need to take B12, some good reason to take it. Okay, so now you get your B12, you start taking it, and all of a sudden you start having these side effects. What are you going to do then? Well, first thing I want you to do is look at the type of B12 that you have. So B12 is a cobalamin molecule with a charge to it, which means it has to be bound to something else. So there's four things that it could be bound to. It could be bound to a methyl group, a hydroxyl group, an adenosyl group, or a cyano group. So usually it's from one of these groups rather than the cobalamin molecule itself that's causing the issues. So first you want to check which type of B12 you're actually taking. The most common that's distributed and sold is actually the cyanocobalamin. And the cyano is basically a cyanide molecule. Of course, cyanide is toxic substance. So why they're still making this type, I don't know. But that definitely could be causing some of your side effects, so you want to avoid that one. The next one that can cause side effects but is also commonly used because of its benefits is the methylcobalamin. Now, generally, this is the type that I recommend and use initially, especially in people that I don't expect to have these kinds of side effects. But because it has the benefits of improving energy, helping with mental clarity, and things that B12 are generally associated with in terms of helping you feel better. However, if you're someone that tends to get more anxiety, sleep disturbance, inflammation, and generally just don't do well with vitamins, medications, supplementation in general, you may want to start with a different type. That type is going to be hydroxyl or adenosyl. These are just less likely to cause the issue, but that they're still going to have the cobalamin molecule that's going to support your overall B12 levels. So check out the description for a link for one that you can trust. And remember, this isn't the only reason that people get side effects from B12. There are several others, and I've gone into that in other videos. So if you're still having problems or you're curious, check out those videos as well. So that's all I had for this video on what to do for B12 side effects. So what do you think? Did this help you with your B12 side effects? Are you still having issues? Let me know in the comments section. Drop your questions there as well. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.